This is Algebra 1, Semester 2. It's the fifth unit called Equations Review. We've already done equations, but now we're reviewing it. And it's the second lesson called Operations and Their Opposites and Order of Operations Practice. Great. So this is on creatormath.com under the Algebra 1 tab, and you might have to Google creatormath.weebly.com to find it. The instructions are copy the following problems into your composition book on the correct pages according to the table of contents with the notes for those pages from creatormath. Dot com. So, to sort of give you some background, let's look at this. Let's go back. Here's the website, creatormath.weebly.com. Google that. Oh, let's go to home page first. You can see what that looks like. All of your composition book stuff, you guys, is on this home page. Just go down to where you see composition book and follow all the directions under it. But we're going to go to the Algebra 1 tab. That's where all the notes. And here, vocabulary. This PDF has all the vocabulary for the whole year, and it will give you all the answers. If you don't know anything, look it up. If there's anything you don't know the answer to, look it up on that PDF is what I'm trying to say. If I can say that appropriately, please. So this is semester two. This is the table of contents. You should have written this into pages two through six of your composition book. If you haven't, do it now. Each line gets a... Each line here gets a line in your composition book. Should take three or four pages. Once you write all that, you will know where everything goes. Let's go down to this standard equations review. Lesson two, operations and their opposites and order of operations. Here's the page numbers that these notes go on in your comp book. Please don't look at this video to find the page numbers, but please look at the actual table of contents. By the time you look at this video, it will be different. Notes. Let's open this up to show you what they look like. There you go. It loaded on the first time, and now I can expand it and see it clearly. If it doesn't load all the way, reload it. Sometimes I have to do it twice. So addition and subtraction, right? There's a forward and a reverse. We always learn forward and reverse in math. The first thing that they taught us was addition back in elementary school, and right after that they said, by the way, there's subtraction. So if you take 3 plus 5, you get 8. But if you take 8 minus 5, you go back to 3. And you're like, wow, there's a forward and a reverse. And this trend continues all the way through math forever, all right, is my two cents worth. We learn multiplication, and then we learned its opposite, division. So 3 times 7 is 21. 21 divided by 7 is 3. We go forward and we reverse. We have power and root. 6 to the power 2 is 36. The square root of 36 is 6. We went forward with a power and reversed with a root. The distribute and factor is a forward and a reverse. And it is an extension of multiplication, but nonetheless, it's an extension of multiplication and division. We take 3 times x plus 2, and we get 3x plus 2. Oh, 3x plus 2 times 3 is 6, excuse me. That's forward. And then we factor it out. We divide 3x plus 6 divided by 3. The 3x divided by 3 is x, and the 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get back to 3 times x plus 2, reverse. Right, so there's forward and reverse. Now we talk about order of operations. I would prefer you not use PEMDAS, but I would prefer you use an understanding that's a lot more complicated, I agree, at first, but it will not lead you astray like PEMDAS does, right? So parentheses overrides all. Power and root comes first. Multiplication and division next. Addition and subtraction next. You're going to go left to right, whichever comes first, all right? Follow that order. I'll show you the problem with PEMDAS. PEMDAS, here's a problem, 7 minus 3 plus 4. Is it 8 or 0? And I, you can write it down and do it later. Do it in your comp book, all right? 6 divided by 1 times 2, is it 12 or 3? So let's see. Vocabulary, order of operations, operations of math, and their opposites. All right, let's get into the problems and do these quickly. So what's the opposite operation of multiplication? And usually when I ask students, they have no problem going division. All right. What's the opposite operation of division? Well, multiplication. What's the opposite operation of addition? Subtraction. What's the opposite operation of subtraction? Addition. Wow. <laughs> What's the opposite operation of power? This one might be a little bit more complicated only because you probably learned it more recently. The opposite of a power is a root. So x squared, if you want to undo an x squared, we take a square root of an x squared, and that goes right back to an x. Because the root reverses the power, and you're left with just the x. Okay, so let's see what we got here. 
What's the opposite operation of a square root of 2? Ah, so say you have, hmm, oh, what's the opposite operation of a square root or root 2? So let's say we have this right here. It's a root 2, right? Um, this is the square root, and you don't have to put the 2 here. If you don't put a 2, it's assumed to be a square root or, power, or a root 2. So they're saying what's the opposite of this? Well, if you took the whole thing and raised it to the power 2, it would eliminate this, and you'd go back to an x. So the opposite of a root 2 is a power 2. Just to explain that a little, a little bit. What's the opposite operation of a cubed root? So say you had x to the cubed root. Now we do show the 3, because it's not square or 2 anymore. It's power, it's root 3, excuse me. To reverse this, we'd raise this to the power 3, and this would cancel out this, and you'd be left with just x. So it's a power 3. I see where they're headed with this. It's got more complicated pretty quickly here. What's the opposite operation of a power 2? So if you got an x to the power 2, the opposite is a root 2. And you don't have to put the 2 out here. You can just leave it blank, and we'll know that by default it's a 2 root. So a 2 root reverses a power 2, square root or root 2. The opposite operation of a power 3. So x cubed, if you want to reverse that, we're going to take a cubed root. So a cubed root or root 3 or 3 root. You can kind of say it in different ways there. In order of operations, which comes first, addition or subtraction? So this is a trick question, you guys. In order of operations, addition and subtraction are equal and opposite operations. They come first, whichever is first, left to right. So addition and subtraction are equal and opposite operations. Therefore, whichever comes first in the expression or equation is the one that is executed first. And I kind of wish I had said from, comes first from left to right. I wish I had said because that's the way your teacher's probably going to say it in class. So whichever comes first, I wish I'd put this from left to right, right in, nope, oh, right here in a parentheses. would be nice. All right, order, in order of operations, which comes first, multiplication or division? Again, it's a trick question. Whichever comes first from left to right. So they're equal and opposite operations. So whichever comes first from left to right is the one you execute first. All right, I'm hoping they give us those two problems. Oh, good. They gave us the two problems from the notes. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is a classic problem that test students on PEMDAS. PEMDAS, which I don't like. It's okay, you guys. It's so good for you to remember because you remember it quickly and easily. And then you kind of forget over time what it means. It means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So look, let's read PEMDAS here. Here's my problem. I got 7 minus 3 plus 4. So what comes first? See this minus and see this plus. Well, look, this is addition and this is subtraction. Here's addition, here's subtraction. Addition comes first in PEMDAS, right? So I would add these and I get 3 plus 4 is 7. Then I would bring this down. I would say 7 minus 7 is 0. Okay. The only problem with this is it is wrong. Because the part that students forget is teachers told them, oh, if it's addition and subtraction, it's whichever comes first, L, 2, R, because they're equal and opposite operations. And same with this, whichever one comes first. And that's what this one is here. This one, you know, forces that a wrong answer, right? So let's do this one. There's a division and a multiplication. Which do I do first? Well, multiplication comes first in PEMDAS, so I do multiplication. Well, 1 times 2 is 2. Bring down the 6 divided by, so we do this first. 1 times 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3, right? The only problem is it's wrong <laughs> because we forget that this, whatever comes first, L to R, right? Well, the division comes first left to right. So we would do 6 divided by 1 equals 6 first. Then we would multiply it by 2. And i, I got to do this in a sep separate statement. What I'm saying is not right there. It's not all equal, so I can't just keep going in the stream. I have to say 6 times 2 now equals 12. That's the right answer, you guys, 12. <laughs> and in this one, if I go left to right, whichever comes first, because they're equal and opposite operations, I would do 7 minus 3 is 4. Now I would add 4 to that, and I would get 8. This is the right answer, all right? And this is enough of a controversy that my students will literally, I've had a student want to call their teacher from the prior year to insist that, you know, in PEMDAS, 
multiplication comes before division no matter what, and that's really not what PEMDAS says. So anyway, have fun with that. That's order of operations. By the way, you can always type it into your calculator. Let's do one more thing before we go in this lesson. Here's how you prove it out. All right? Can we see this? Barely. Let's see. Here. Here. Clear. Okay. So, folks, just type it into your calculator. If you're in an argument like this with a teacher or another student or whatever, right, your parents, I don't know who you're arguing with this about, but just type it in. So 7 minus 3 plus 4. 7 minus 3 plus 4. Oh, 8. You know why? Because your calculator's programmed to know the order of operations correctly. So check. Uh, this is right. Okay, let's try this one. 6 divided by 1 times 2. Clear? 6 divided by 1 times 2. Okay, 12. Oh, because your, com your calculator is programmed correctly for the right order of operations. It's one of the flaws of PEMDAS, although I love the fact that it's sticky. Students remember PEMDAS right off the bat. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I can hear him saying it now in class, right? And good job on that, because we ask you to remember it, right? We being teachers. So, All right, this is Algebra 1, Semester 2. This is the fifth unit called Equations Review. And it's the second lesson called Order Operations and Their Opposites and Order of Operations Practice. It's on creatormath.com under the Algebra 1 tab. Hope that helps.